everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and it has been a while since I have done a Coco Daisy unboxing because I typically only get the week's sticker kit now, but I got notification last, the beginning of last week that they had extra Halloween kits available, and since Halloween is my anniversary month and my absolute favorite holiday, um, my husband and I were both married on Halloween. <laughs> both married. <laughs> my husband and I were married on Halloween. Uh, we were both there. <laughs> um, I always uh, enjoy decorating and doing stuff for Halloween. So I have cut the tape on this thing, but I have not opened anything. I have seen a little preview um, from the ordering uh, menu when I saw it. I did not um, pre-order it. They had some extra kits and unfortunately, right before this video, I went in and they do not have them in stock. But you can sign up for their um, email list to let them let you know if they get any more in stock. So this is the Halloween kit. Um, this is the little card. Thank you for selecting us um, from Coco Daisy. And I really love Coco Daisy. I just have so much that I have not used that I needed to just put a hold on my ordering. So that is the only reason I do not have the monthly subscription continuing. So let's go ahead um, and open it. And like I said, this is the Halloween kit. It's not a specific um, month kit. This is the extra kit uh, that you could have pre-ordered. And um, I just love it. So we're going to we'll go ahead and do these little things first. All right. So first off, we have the washi tape. Um, let me try to get this open, 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 open. So, oh my goodness, really? Okay. All right, so this, let's see. Let me try to find the end here. So let me get you in camera here. It seems kind of dark and spooky. That like looks like a raven there. Um, then a moon. So, so yeah, that is actually really super cool. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll probably be adding that to my. Sumkin and my Hobonichi cousin of Ek. All right, that's back together. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is so cute. Okay. Um, I will say, I always say this, but um, I try to point it out. Um, you can always use these backing cards for tip-ins. Um, you can like either cut that off or put washi tape over it, um, but it's got a cute little fall um, leafy design on the back of that. So this is the uh, giant paper clip. It's got rose gold, but it has a little silver witch hat, which I adore. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is definitely gonna get used this uh, to start probably starting today. So there's that. Um, <gasps> this is my absolute favorite thing always of these special kits is you get a Simon. Um, he is um, their little bunny rabbit um, and I love him. I absolutely love him and he, he used to be a part of all of their kits but they have... Uh, since put him into all of the special kits and so he is in a little ghost costume and he's carrying like a little lantern and truth be told this is what sold me I'm like oh 
I can get a Simon clip. Oh, yes, I'm getting it. So I love Simon. He, he, he reminds me of my husband. Um, I know that sounds weird, but he is like kind of like an IT kind of guy. And so it just makes me laugh every time. And I love it. So this or these are the, um, the stamps. And I am not a huge stamp user, but I do like these. You've got Halloween, Eat, Drink, and Be Scary, A Little Witch Hat, Hocus Pocus, um, Go and Boo, A Little Potion Bottle, A Bat, A Broom, and Trick or Treat, This is Halloween, Hocus Pocus, So Spooky, Boo, and then a pumpkin. So those are so cute. Love those. And then we've got Die Cuts. And I am very curious to see if these are stickers or not. So, I don't think these are. Uh, she has made the transition to stickers for die cuts. But um, those are in her regular kits. And I these don't feel like they're a sticker. So... But I could totally be wrong, and I am. Usually the sticker has like a, a slick background, but it's kind of got a regular paper back to it. So you've got the broom, a witch hat, which actually kind of looks like the sorting hat, which I find interesting. Um, eat, drink, and be scary. The bat. Uh, just a bunch of hocus pocus. I put a spell on you. Got the owl. Have you seen this wizard? Oh my gosh, it does have a Harry Potter theme. Yay! Witchcraft and wizardry. Jack o' lantern. Um, there's another jack o' lantern. Candles. Another bat. Um, this is Muggle on the outside, Wizard on the inside. I adore that. An entry tag. Um, just here for the candy. A spell book. Another owl, Expectro, Expecto Patronus, Wicked, um, some blank tags there. Hopefully you guys are still in frame, yes. Um, boo, another jack-o'-lantern, uh, spooky stuff, just a plain pumpkin, and happy Halloween. So those are so cute. I got something under there. Oh, all dressed up. So... There are the uh, die cut stickers in that pack. And I'm going to pull those back together because if I don't and one of the cats jumps up here, they will be gone forever. So I'm going to shove those in there. Evidently, my phone did not get turned off. Or I only turned off part of it, which is more likely. So there is that die cut pack. Then we have this die cut pack. So we will take this out. So let's see. There is magic in the night when pumpkins glow by moonlight. That's cute. So these are like ribbons. I think those are cool. Mischief Managed. Another jack-o'-lantern. Um, this is like a little scroll. These are more uh, labels or ribbons. That's actually like ribbons and um, a jack-o'-lantern together. Whoops. This is platform nine and three quarters. Moon that hovers, wind that cries, mist and magic before your eyes. I like that. Another blank one. Another candle. Oh, these are so cool. There is a quill and your letter from Hogwarts. Yay! Those are so cool. I love those. Oh my gosh. Ah. All right. Same again. We're going to try to get these in here without... Um, getting them lost because the cats will go crazy and let me just 
turn my phone off so that it does not make a noise again. All right, so there's that. Okay, next, ooh, okay. My wings are in, my wings are in for repair, so today I'm writing my broom. I freaking love that. That is so cool. I That looks to be a sticker as well. I think it is. That is so cool. I love that. Um, and then this is the... Uh, A lot of times I get more excited about the little rice paper bag because I love those. But this is um, some of the uh, cards. I put a spell on you, keep calm and carry a wand. I love that. Um, and then, ooh, happy Halloween with some spooky trees on the back. And that's got a dot grid on it. Then you've got the bat artwork. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting out of there. Um, and then tonight we fly. I love those. Uh, this is just the uh, jack o' lanterns and trick or treat. And then you've got this uh, sheet of stickers with bats, uh, Hedgewig, a dragon, potion bottles, um, a lantern, a mouse, and a jack o' lantern, um, another potion bottle, a snake. For those Slytherin types, the sorting hat, Hedwig on a broom, uh, a mystic ball, a wand, um, then spell books and candles, and then a cauldron, and then a spell book down here. I love those. I think that's awesome. And then Halloween favorites. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And happy Halloween. Oh, that is so cute. Um, little jack-o'-lanterns with the uh, witch hat on the top. And then you've got Hedgewig there with your letter to Hogwarts and the moon. And I, that is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there are those. We're gonna put that off to the side. And I always try to save that. These are puffy stickers. And um, they are not always my favorite. However, I will probably use some of these. Um, they've got the broom, boo, uh, jack-o'-lantern, the mouse, October 31st, um, Hedwig, uh, Mrs. Uh, Crookshanks, um, or Mrs. It's not Crookshanks. It's... Oh, I can't remember the name of the cat. Um, you've got spell books, potions, lanterns, a little um, typewriter, a skull cup, um, and just some plain dots, which I just love. These are so cool. Even they, when they are the least favorite thing out of any, I'm a little, I take that back. The glittery dots, I, I, I have no use for this. <laughs> every, I have every single packet of glittery dots ever sent out because yeah I don't use them but these I will probably use on certain things so I like that these are the uh they're a chipboard and I think that chipboard might actually be sticky um creeping it real favorite treat ghosts and goblins uh candy tax collection best costumer or best costume trick-or-treat couple of jack three jack-o-lanterns beautiful going boo it was dark and scary night the finest carved pumpkin ever creepy stuff here um some arrows halloween spectacular together we can do great things resting witch face which i freaking love fantastic beast this was so wicked awesome frightfully delightful um so yeah there are the uh it's they are very thick um it's it's the chipboard, but so cute. So cute. Oh, and we have some black letters. And I love that the all the O's and the P's and the D's have like little uh, eyeballs on them. So you could actually use those as well. So these are not very thick. 
but you can use the the pop outs for eyeballs which i think is so adorable so just the uh, stick on letters Ooh, okay that is awesome the bat vellum oh i love this i absolutely love that that is that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then you've got the uh the hedgewig um mylar i think or the acetate i guess but that is gorgeous too now they don't look good together but that is so pretty so pretty i love that then you've got the cardstock, which it looks like it is just single pages of A5. And so you've got the ravens in the trees. And then a kind of a, a watercolor, dark watercolor um, look to it. Then you have that same pattern of the jack-o'-lanterns, some with witch hats, some without. And then um, this is kind of like a... Uh, a ledger look to it. I'll try to get that up closer so you can see it. And then it's got some uh, like newspaper print on the back of it too, which I think is really cool. Ooh, this one is uh, very orange and very busy, but I like it. Kind of an optical little look there. Oh, and this has got the floating candles, kind of like in their dining hall, um, how the, the candles float in uh, Harry Potter. I love that. Oh, then you get the same one. So you get two pieces of each one. So you got six cardstock all together. So that one and that one, that one and that one, and then that one and that one. So those are just gorgeous. Oh, I love that. So there you have it. That is the Halloween kit. It was, I think, $35 and well worth it um, because I love this because it's not dated. Um, I mean, other than Halloween, but uh, I could use this any year I wanted to. Um, as a matter of fact, I was like, oh, you know what? I haven't used anything from last year's Halloween because we didn't do anything. And so I may... Um, be getting out last year's as well um, and trying to put together some Halloween decorations uh, as far as um, like tree ornaments and stuff because I tend on a on a regular year when there's not a pandemic I will sometimes put up my tree early and decorate it for Halloween and then um, have that through the end of Halloween and then do something. Um, I'll start decorating here. I'll take everything down and then just add little things to it for Christmas um, all the way up to usually pulling out all of the Christmas ornaments on uh, Thanksgiving day and finish decorating at that point in time. At least that's always been my tradition, but yeah, pandemic kind of threw a monkey wrench and all of that, but there you have it. That is the Halloween uh, special order kit from Coco Daisy. Let me know down below if you got this kit or if you want to get on the waiting list for it or if you decorate um, like a Halloween tree. I would love to know if you use like a like a Christmas tree or do you do like one of the little dead looking trees. My dream is to someday want to have one of the Halloween villages. Not a Christmas village. I want a Halloween village. But uh, as I am trying to downsize and, you know, after we retire, I may actually, we may actually move out of, out of the country to Costa Rica. I don't know if it's wise to start that. <laughs> Although every year I'm like, ooh, I could just start with that. But yeah, I haven't found the one piece that would make me start um, but who knows? Who knows? We'll see. But if I ever did a village of anything, it would be a Halloween village. So anyway, there you have it. And my favorite piece out of all of it, Simon. 
So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.